Hola familia, it's Alex. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. So today I wanted to do something I don't often do on my channel and that's actually to share with you guys some of my favorites this past summer i've had so much fun with certain products i realized i have been reaching for them over and over and over and i wanted to share them with you i have 10 items here and i have loved every single one of these products all summer long you probably have seen them repetitively in my shop my stashes in um any looks that i post on instagram you've probably seen these products on there these are some of the products that i just love Love, love. And none of these, with the exception of maybe one, is brand new. All of these are just older products in my collection that I either fell back in love with or specifically only use in the summer. So this is a summer favorite. For the last three months or so, this is what I have been reaching for, incorporating in a lot of my makeup looks. So if you're interested, stay tuned. But first, if you're new to my channel, welcome to the familia. My name is Alejandra. I'm an eyeshadow enthusiast with an Ash Project fan. If that is something that interests you, subscribe, join us. And now let's get on with my favorites. I'll do my best to have close-ups of everything and swatches so you guys can see them. So that way I am not struggling on here going like this and up close and trying not to punch you guys you know what I mean so we're gonna get started with the first product these are not in any particular order these are just the way that I have them laid out first product I want to share is this highlighter this is the Jouer Topaz this should be no surprise I've loved this for at least two summers now this is probably my second or third summer of enjoying this one this is what this one looks like and you guys can see it is beat up it is and it is what I'm wearing today on my face some of these I am wearing some of them I'm not I just forgot to either incorporate some of these but some of these I tried so this is a beautiful highlighter if you are medium skin tone and even deeper this is gorgeous on you I love this highlighter it's smooth it blends really nicely it gives you that nice glow without you looking like you went out there and like slapped on a bunch of glitter on your face it's perfection I love this highlighter Jouer's highlighters are so good in their formula I own quite a bit of them but Topaz seems to be the one I love for the summer so I have been enjoying the crap out of this one this summer again next up is a bronzer this bronzer i pulled out this summer and i've had it for a while but i always tend to forget in the summer to pull it out and this summer i did this is the mac give me sun this is the old school packaging you guys it's gonna take me a while to go through but this is actually really nice a few of you had asked me if this was too orange for my skin tone if you are a medium skin tone and you do have warmer undertones this would be perfect for the summer because it doesn't show orange on the skin first of all it gives you warmth to your skin without looking so orangey based it's beautiful i love it in the summertime specifically especially if i am tan if i was light skinned i probably wouldn't like it as much so this is my summer bronzer the formula is so good so good my goodness it is like this it looks like silk on the skin it just blends effortlessly and it looks so effortlessly on the skin it doesn't look like i have bronzer it looks like my natural skin i know that mac was raved about years ago and people just fallen out with it and found new brands but i gotta tell you mac powders are really good i have not been disappointed by any of their mineralized skin finish formulas they're really really good in this one I love love this one for the summer so I did not do too much damage to this I've used it you could see that I've used it but there's not much damage to it so it's gonna take me a uh, quite a few years to finish off the other bronzer that I oh my goodness loved love this summer and I'm not wearing either one of these I'm so sorry you guys I didn't even think about this it's the Laura Geller baked body frosting it's a face and body glow look how big this sucker is can you see that? I'm going to compare it to the MAC. <laughs> Look at the giganticness of this bronzer. This is supposed to be for face and body. It comes with a big old puff, but I use this for mainly my face. This is the Hawaiian Glow version. She had a few of them. I believe like four or five of them. I own about three. This is by far my favorite summer one. This is Hawaii in a bronzer. Wow, this is a baked product again, just like that mineralized skin finish. So it just looks so good on the skin. 
it does it and all these swirls and different colors to it it just gives you that healthy glow bronzing look it is beautiful i don't know if you can get these anymore but my gosh did i love this one i put this on and i'm like dang that looks so good on my skin and i'm not one to glow about my own self but ah oh, every time i wore this one i'm just like wow i love it this is gonna take me decades to finish and i'm not upset this is so good this takes up a lot of room in my drawer but I love it so much that I don't care. This is so good. If you have it, pull it out while you have a tan or if you are already deep skin tone. Oh, love this. Love this so, so much this summer. Again, I don't know if it's available. It might be available on her exact website. I don't know if it'll be available like on QVC. I know Ulta doesn't carry it anymore. I think I did buy these off of QVC. Uh, but, or on, I'm sorry, I think I bought them right off of her website because that's the only place I was able to find these and they are well worth the storage and the cost. So good. Let's move on to eyeliners. For eyeliners, I have been having a blast with this. These are the ones that I've been having out here. You could probably see which ones I've used the most. These are the LA Girls Shockwave Eyeliner, the Neon Eyeliners. I have five of these shades. And you guys, I'm just having fun with these. I didn't necessarily wear any of these off tremendously, but these were a lot of fun to wear on my waterline. Now, Bear in mind, these are not ones that are going to last you all day. At least, I shouldn't say they shouldn't. I have very finicky eyes, so my eyes water often. And if there's a little crack of wind that blows in my eyes, they start to water. Like any little thing that I see somebody crying, I start to cry. You know what I mean? So these don't last a very, very long time on my waterline, but they last enough and they leave a nice look to my to my eye look that I have going on like a little nice pop of color these probably last at most five hours on me I don't mind reapplying they're like a gel formula and with one swipe you're gonna get full saturation I that's why I like these a lot because I'm not sitting there dragging it back and forth and back and forth it's just one swipe and you can see the color saturation on my waterline I know it won't last it's for me I can't tell you whether these will last a long time on your eyes because I just tend to have a very hard time finding ones that will last a long time, but that's just me. I'm not like the everyday person. Most people, this will probably last a while, but for me, at most five hours, but I just love the color. I love the colors that they're in here. They're not that expensive, which is another thing because I'm not gonna use these all the time, but when I want something, at least I have them in this. They're great. They're inexpensive. You can find them at Ulta or LA Girls website and you're not going to break the bank with these. They're gorgeous. All I'm missing is like a pink. That's all I'm missing. So I've loved these all summer long. The other eye product that I've been having so much fun using is this. This is so odd for me. This is the Tarte Tardis Pro Glitter Liner in Rose Gold. This is a double-ended uh, product. This is a glitter version and then the cream version. And you guys, I've had so much fun with this. Now, you could see that it's very, very thin. So what I've been doing with this is anytime that I've had a look where it's like boring or the shimmer isn't as popping as I want it to, I just go ahead and grab either one of these sides because even this cream side is actually really, really nice for like, I, I just love this. I don't, the color is just perfect for the summer. I just like streak on like three streaks. I grab my finger, I pat it out and it gives me this beautiful glisten to my eyes. This is perfect. I have reached for this time and time again. You can actually see how much I've reached for this. It's just been so much fun all summer. All summer long, I've had so much fun with it. And when this dries up, I'm actually going to keep the the center part and get rid of these two B parts because the liner itself it's so finely milled that I can actually use it for other things so I really like this the other eye product that I've had fun with over the summer is this color tattoo you guys know I've mentioned this over and over and over I went through all of my color tattoos this year got rid of a lot of them that I knew I did not want to pan or care to pan and I kept only a handful of them probably a good 12 in my collection that I knew I wanted to use and use up this is one of them they obviously these they do not make them they're no longer in existence except for I think six shades and those six shades are not ones that I'm going to share with you at least this one is not this is the color gold shimmer this color is just so pretty, you guys. Oh my goodness. This is like a bronzy gold. 
and if you got a tan like if you're medium to deep skin tone this will look so good on you if you can find something in a different uh, formula like a shadow stick in this shade oh this is so so pretty and I wore this and then I put like a glitter on top it lasted all day and believe it or not the I know that you know these are no longer in existence mainly not many people use them as often anymore but I just mix mine I don't add anything to them I just mix them and it regenerates them and I keep them upside down in my drawer like this and they stay hydrated for me for a long time so I've loved this one. Oh my goodness I love this one uh, before I completely use this up I want to see if I could find a shadow stick in my collection that's very similar to this color because this is like my go-to color my one and done shadow in the summer this would be it I can put this all over the lid including in my crease and it's so easy to blend and then I go in with like a shimmer a shimmer topper a glitter topper something and I'm good to go for the day this is beautiful and I've loved this for throughout the summer I've loved pairing this with a lot of things all right let's move on to the last four products that are lip products let's start out with a lip liner that I fell in love with this summer this is the Fiona Styles Creamy Longwear uh, Pencil in New Amsterdam. It is what I'm wearing today. This is like a terracotta brown in a liner. This is beautiful. This is the only one I have in my collection of this shade. And you guys, I don't want to live without this shade in my collection as far as liners, lip liners go. I prefer this in the summertime 100% I've used this so much in the summer and I have been very careful at how much I've sharpened it because I love it so much it is the only color I own like this in my collection I think Rummel might have something similar I know other brands may have something similar it's like a terracotta orangey like a burnt orange brown it's so so beautiful i love this and the formula of these are amazing now fiona styles is no longer available her liners her lip liners are really good they're creamy but they lasted and you were able to like buff them out with your finger and then they set and that's what i did i put this all over my lips and i love this one i just love it to pair it with any of my terracotta orangey burnt brown shades beautiful all summer this is what i've been reaching for with a different one and I've been holding off because I don't want to use it all up. I love it that much, you guys. But I have been rocking it a ton. Now, three lip products that I just fell in love with this summer and I cannot get enough of them. First and foremost is my Urban Decay Fuel. I don't know if this is even available anymore because I know that they redid this whole entire line for the third time, you guys, which is pretty sad because I still own some from the very first Vice collection. <laughs> This one was gifted to me by my friend Lisa and I, you could see how much I've loved this one. This is my favorite lipstick when it comes to summer looks that I want to mix and I don't want anything that's going to be too much. This is perfect for me for the summer. I love it. I love that it's a creamy formula, but it's not too runny. It's enough. It's moisturizing. It lasts on my lips and I don't have to really babysit it. I love this one. I hope it doesn't die on me because every summer I pull this out and I've loved it. This one is new to me. This is the only new product that I have in this whole entire uh, favorites video. This one was, it seems like my family, it's been a tradition. As you guys know, I haven't bought lip products for myself in about, I'm going on like five to six years where I just don't buy lip products. Have you guys seen any hauls with lip products in them? No, I don't really buy lip products. If I get any lip products, I've always been gifted in a subscription box in some sort of gift with purchase i really do not so i don't i just have too many still and i have every color i could think of still that i don't necessarily want anymore for my birthday this past summer and it seems like the last three summers seems like somebody they, they all know i love maybelline lipsticks so they went they oh family members and friends go out and get me maybelline lipsticks and this is one that i didn't even know existed i was crying and complaining because my maybelline uh daringly nude is almost done and i found out that it's no longer in production they don't make that color anymore so i had to come up with a new nude to replace that one once i was done well i had mentioned it to someone and that someone went out and found this lipstick for me and i love it i think i love this one even more than dearly nude this one is the maybelline cream line it's called naked dare and this is what i'm wearing over the lip liner that i mentioned earlier this color is beautiful i have fallen head over heels for this lip color this lip color is the perfect nude for me 
I'm dying to see how it looks like when I don't have a tan because I love it so much when I do have a tan. It's like a neutral undertone. It doesn't have too much pink and it doesn't have too much orangey yellow. It's like perfect. It's not too brown. It's not too pink. It's not too peach. It's right there. It is perfection in a lipstick for me. And the formula is amazing. You guys know my number one drugstore lip product formula is Maybelline. I just love them. I always have loved them and I will always love them. So I'm very happy that they picked this one out for me because I would have never thought to look on their permanent line for this. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. I love it, absolutely love it. The last lip product that I've been using all summer long is this one. This is the Kat Von D Lolita 2. This is that terracotta color, the terracotta color that just looks amazing, I love it. I was tempted to wear this one today. As you guys can see, it looks really nice. I love the formula of these. I don't know if they're still around, but these are awesome, awesome. Some of my top favorite uh, liquid lipsticks up there. It's not my favorite, but it's up there. Enough for it to be one of my top fives. I love it. It's comfortable for me. I don't mind it. It lasts all day. I don't have crepey lips with it. I can add a lip gloss or another creamy lipstick on top and it sets beautifully. It doesn't run all over the place. I, can, I don't have to babysit it. And I love this shade. Love this shade. I'm so happy I pulled this out for the summer because I got a ton of use out of this one. A ton of use. And these have lasted me a long time, you guys. These have still not gone bad. They still smell good. I love this one. All right, you guys, that's my top 10 favorites for the summer. I will link these down below if they are even in existence still. Let me know what you've been loving this summer. I've had so much fun just shopping my stash, seeing what I have, enjoying what I have. And I gotta say, this was by far my favorite summer doing this. I just found so many great things in my collection and revisited things that I've loved from the past that I just brought back and have enjoyed so so much that is it you guys thank you guys so much for watching more videos on the screen for your enjoyment until then adios